I'm going to show you two video clips of Mike Todd teaching a destructive doctrine. In the first video clip, Mike Todd said Jesus was God's tithe. Watch this. Jesus was God's tithe. He sent his only and his first son on a maybe so that he could get an entire family of people to believe. It doesn't take faith to, to, to sow something after you already know you got it. And it doesn't get any better. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil, maybe you've never thought about this. It was the garden's tithe. Oh, that's nasty. And this is what's happening in Michael Todd's ministry. There's no integrity for the scriptures. As you can see, he continued to use scriptures out of context to make it fit his narrative. And you may be wondering why Michael Todd continued to teach false doctrine. Take a look at what's on the table. The Bible says the love of money is the root of all evil. And unfortunately, this is what's running most churches. It's not the Holy Spirit. It's money. And as you can see, Michael Todd, he says anything to convince people to give their money. It's not scripturally correct. It's not biblically sound. And it doesn't matter who teaching it. It doesn't matter how popular the person is. The Bible says you will know the tree by the fruit it bears. However, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil was not a tithe. As you can see, Michael Todd made it up. It came from his heart. And the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Michael Todd is not a representative of the kingdom of God. He continues to pervert scriptures for the money, which is ungodly. Know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. But if you think Jesus came into this world as a tithe, you are deceived. If you're looking for entertainment, Michael Todd will give it to you. But if you're looking for Jesus, get in the word of God. However, brothers and sisters, the cross does not relate to money. The cross represents the suffering of Jesus Christ for the sins of the world. We have to defend the gospel because the truth is at stake. If we don't hold true to the word of God, we'll end up following a Jesus that's not in the Bible. The word of God says, if an angel or anyone preaches another gospel, let him be a curse. God bless you.